Hey everyone, I am in Savannah, Georgia. It's my first trip here, and I'm staying in the Victorian district at a new hotel, the Hotel Bardo, and I wanna show you some of the highlights of this property. So I'm sitting inside this little Moki. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly because I've never seen one before, but this is used to transport people around the property. And there's even a sign on it that says for rent. And it's got the name on there as well. The Hotel Bardo is modeled after the Amalfi Coast. I'm in the waiting area right now. So this is where you could wait if you wanna get a drink. There's a bar right across from me. Also, if you're gonna get an Uber or a Lyft, or if you're gonna stay within the historic district, the hotel has its own vehicle that shuttles people around from 12 o'clock in the afternoon to nine in the evening. I like how the books are very strategically placed in the waiting area. The gym and the spa are on the lower level. So salt grass is the spa right over here. And one thing I really like about this place is there is a separate stretching room. Really comes in handy. You can grab one of those mats like I do and take it into here, which is the hotel gym. The selection is definitely better than average for a hotel of this size. Weights go up to 100 pounds. You also have bars for curls, little preacher bar, and several cardio machines. So this is my room. I like this. There is a bathtub and a separate standing shower. And then this way, little welcome gift, some nuts. And this is one of the things I really appreciate. There's an espresso machine. The Hotel Bardo is stop number five on the Old Town Trolley Tour. By Mr. Richard Kessler, who owns the Armstrong Mansion with a wild boar fountain we saw just a few minutes ago. But Kessler sold it. They've added this extension to the back, and they've changed the name from the mansion on Foresight, which in my opinion was a perfectly good name for a luxury hotel. So we're about to make the left turn to go to stop number five, the uh, Foresight Park stop. But before we do, I always like to point out the house across the way on our right. You might be the Hotel Bardo has bikes for people of all sizes, even ones for really small ones like that one right there. So they're complimentary for guests, including a helmet. So I'm going to grab one of these and go for a ride through this very bikeable city. Forsyth Park is right across the street. It is the largest park in Savannah's historic district. In a city where summer lows can easily be in the high 70s or low 80s, a pool is an essential part of any hotel here in Savannah. And the Hotel Bardo has this one right behind me. Now there's no hot tub at the Hotel Bardo, but as they point out, if you asked, you don't really need a hot tub when it's 90 some degrees outside in the summer. This is the pastry and coffee selection that's available every day from seven to 11. So this is the menu and St. Viviana is the patron saint of hangovers. Now the wine menu is exclusively Italian I believe and it's extensive. Beef focaccia with some lemon zest and I can also offer you some rosemary sea salt olive oil. Olive oil. Absolutely. Here we are sir. Amazing. 
So for my appetizer, I'm having the grilled calamari and the staff was nice enough to have the kitchen remove the pork from the sauce. I guess they created a more traditional marinara sauce for me. The calamari is very tender. You definitely taste the garlic in the sauce. I would say the sauce has a strong taste, but so does the calamari. So my pasta course is going to be mezzaluna, which is talagio stuffed with mushroom. And there's a lot, a generous uh, serving of Parmesan cheese on top. And this is watercress. So I definitely prefer stuffed pasta. And this one's very thin. This one's as rich as it looks, and I taste citrus in it. Not what I was expecting. Pasta's prepared al dente, but all in all, this is a very good combination. So we based in a Mediterranean fennel and yeast butter sauce, and then it has some garlic oven roasted tomatoes on top. I also have a set of grilled zucchini for you with some Calabrian chili salsa verde. Thank you. I'm having the bronzino for my second day. The reason I'm having this is because three different people recommended it. One was my server, and then there were a couple others that when I mentioned I was coming here, they said you have to try the bronzino. So leave a comment, I'm curious. Would you eat this with the skin on? or the skin off. Okay, I've never heard of anise butter, especially Sicilian anise butter, but this is probably my favorite dish I've tried here so far. It's in the 90s, this whole week that I'm here. So it's nice to have this fish, which is a lighter dish, a little bit rich from the butter, but besides that, I think this is perfect. When you add the tomatoes in, it adds a little bit of sweetness to it. Alright, here's a lemon olive oil cake for you. So I have a bed of lemon mascarpone cream with some accoutrements of candied lemon peel, pistachio crunch, and lemon sorbet. So no matter how this lemon olive oil cake tastes, I think it deserves a prize just for the presentation. All right, this lemon olive oil cake is really interesting. So first of all, it's very dense, definitely soaked uh, in olive oil, but the lemon mascarpone kind of has the strongest taste. You definitely taste the lemon. That's also helped by the little pieces of lemon zest in there. In the pistachio, there are pieces in there, but it's more like a granola. Okay, I'm gonna rank everything I had. Number one was definitely the bronzino. A little bit salty. I love the anise butter. Perfect for this time of year. Number two is the lemon olive oil cake. That's really memorable. I would love to get that recipe. Um, number three, the calamari. Really like the red sauce. It was nice and tender. Number four, I would say the mesa luna. Um, it was very rich. I like the mushrooms in there. Kind of heavy for this time of year when it's 95, 96, 97 degrees outside. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I got more trips coming up soon. I'm heading down to Ellicott City, Maryland, Washington, DC. Second trip down there this year. Also heading to Orlando, Florida, Portland, Oregon soon. First trip there. I also have a California trip in the works. So I hope you get to come to Savannah. Stay at the Hotel Bardo. This is like a little resort within an old city. I look forward to sharing more videos with you soon.